So today we're in a professional development seminar with Allison Stover that's in support of our professional leadership development as we transition from students to entry-level practitioners. What are some things that happened over the past two weeks that you were able to participate in that you were like, hey, this was a great opportunity, learn something cool from this? I am very committed to innovation, but I'm actually more committed to the idea of reinvention. Reinvention means that I'm assessing where I am, where I came from, I'm identifying what's good, what's strong, and then I'm looking at the places where there needs to be change or innovation or even a unity of what, what's done really well and what's not quite done yet. And so in front of the classroom is this opportunity to see the reinvention every day of a profession that I love. Office hours are in my office from 12 to 1 and keep knocking it out of the park. I have worked with Allison since I've been a doctorate student here. Um, so she was my mentor when I was a CSCD student in the doctoral program. She is always looking to help other women and OTs in general. Um, she is passionate about being an occupational therapist and passionate about the work she does. And it's been an honor to work with her. Um, I texted her last night and I said, I'm so happy that I know you and I truly, truly mean that. I've never thought of myself as a leader. I've always thought of myself as someone who's just very passionate, really excited, and probably has a little bit too much energy. It was really the idea of where you see a need or where I saw a need. I just felt like I had the passion and the excitement and the energy to do it and either persuade or just somehow convince others to want to join in the efforts. Allison was my faculty advisor in my first year here and from then on we've had a great relationship she always put a lot of faith in me to like kind of push myself out of my comfort zone clinically and educationally so this is our play lab and this is where the students in the occupational therapy department have the opportunity to really test out and trial pediatric assessments interventions and treatments it's really a privilege to tell my story to the students every day as I teach them about the knowledge I have in our profession, but it's an even bigger privilege to have my views of what this profession can do reinvented in every single student conversation. I had the awesome opportunity of doing one of my fieldwork rotations at her clinic. I learned so much there and um, it was really great being able to collaborate with her and learn from her in the clinical world as well as the educational world. We opened Capable Kids. Our first month open, we had 12 visits the entire month. Now we are in our second location. Within a year, we outgrew our first building. We schedule about 450 to 500 visits a week. Allison is an inspiration, honestly. It's like we know she's gonna be um, the incoming president of AOTA. Her role as a mother, as a wife, as a small business owner, as a lawyer, and being able to see her tap into each of those roles and identities and bring those experiences into the classroom really inspires me as a student, but also inspires me as a future professional, knowing that I want to be more than an occupational therapist and really inspire change in the community. I really am honored to know her just because of the amazing work that she's accomplished in really such a short, short amount of time. She has her own clinic. She has an amazing family. She's about to be the president of the American Occupational Therapy Association. So we really couldn't be any proud of her. And I really, truly mean that I am honored to know her. This is just my next step in service. I'm really excited about the opportunity to take all of these smaller experiences with needs assessment and understanding communities and developing plans and how to evaluate if those plans are working and, and use it on a national stage now to propel occupational therapy to a place that it needs to be and it deserves to be. I can't think of a single experience in my life that I can't relate back to a woman who has demonstrated incredible intellect, strength, courage, grit. I think it's wonderful 
it's an incredible honor to be someone that is chosen to get to tell my story. But to me, this month means that my story is actually not just hearing about me, it's hearing about all the women who made it possible for me to be where I am.